And she comes. Nadezhda Kansir, Moldova. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting for the blue corner. 22 years old, official height 159 centimeter, official weight 51 kilogram, professional record 22 wins, 7 losses, MTBN European Champion, representing Diamond Gym, Petrus Gym, Turkey, Feride Kira! <laughs> Fighting for the red corner, 25 years old, official height 166 centimeter, Official weight 51 kilogram, professional record, three win, one loss. Participant and prize man of fighting tournaments. Representing Berkut Fight Club, Moldova, Nadezhda Kansi. <laughs> Women division, Grand Prix semi-final fight. KOK rules, three rounds, three minutes each. Ring referee, Suhan Yulian. Fighters. So this is our second semi-final, as we mentioned, and one of these two ladies will go through to the final. So Farid Kirat from Turkey in the blue, blue shorts, blue gloves, in the red corner, representing Kishna Moldova, Nadia Kansia in the red gloves with the black and white shorts, top one. So here we go, scheduled for three, three minute rounds. Nadia coming out of the stocks pretty quickly. Stop, 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 Three stop. big knees, but with the clinch. No holding, okay? Fight. Like I said, a lot of fighters coming from Muay Thai background. Hard to drop the clinch when you were uh, so used to doing that. So Farid moving around the ring well. Nadia throwing the right kick to the glove. And as I predicted, a fast start, as all ladies do. Ladies don't have to put a lot of stamina into the fights. And use it every inch and every part of the fight. Fight. Oh, Farid in the southpaw stance now. That's right guard. Nadia in the left guard, left stance. Well, it's Nadia at the moment who's forcing the pace. Farid moving round the ring, picking her shots and counter-fighting. Nice inside low point kick from Nadia. But a nice counter-punch coming back from Farid. Farid throwing a nice two-punch kick combo as well. Again, inside low kick from Nadia. Both girls unloading nicely with the hands and legs combinations. Very impressed with how both girls move around the ring. Good footwork, good use of ring craft. Just a slip, recognised by the referee, Julian. Stefan Julian. First caution, do not hold, no pinching. Again, another caution about the clinch. I like the way Nadia closes the ring down. That is an art in itself. Just a little bit out of range with the punches. Finding those last two, though, with two overhand looping hooks. So playing the game really well at the moment. Nadia, I guess that's the first time I've had the pleasure to witness Farid. Seems quite relaxed and composed, and again, picking her shots reasonably well too. But for me, Nadia's the one who's uh, just got that little edge in this opening round, which is all about the business, Only put, wanting to put herself in the final. Nice little exchange and rally from both girls, coming up to the 10 second mark. Oh, there we go, sorry. Oh, right on the bell, <laughs> a little bit after it, actually. <laughs> well. Farid Kirat from Turkey, well representing herself here tonight on this four-woman tournament. And I like the way she uses her counter-fighting, but the person who's forcing the pace a little bit and cutting the ring down is Nadia Kansi. I like the way she does that. And we can see here, 
Yeah, King of Kings in association with FEA Fighting Entertainment Association and live on Fightbox around the world. Thank you for joining us. My name is Sandy Holt from Bolton, England. I'm your commentator tonight. And I hope you enjoy the fights. And as I said, anybody who's a regular to this King of Kings program, and obviously fight box, get a piece of paper and a pen, draw a line down the middle, a line across the top, three lines down and a total at the bottom. There's Mr. Dorin Demel, the promoter here in Moldova. And then give Second it round. a score. The scoring area works system Second is a 10 point must. So one fighter will get 10, you're the nine, unless you see even 10-10. Ten, ten. If there is a knockdown, it's 10-8, and two knockdowns in one round is 10-7. So round two of three three-minute rounds. And again, same format. It's Nadia in the red corner. Red gloves, black, silver and white, shorts and top. And Farid Girat from Turkey in the blue corner, blue shorts, trimmed with pink and black top. Stop. Farid is happy to go on the outside of the ring. And Nadia in the middle. So pretty much similar to round one. And Farid in the south paw, right stance. Nadia in the left. Stop, stop. So clean cut fight so far. Approaching the halfway through round two. Remember, this is a four-woman tournament. 51 kilograms. And in English weight division, that's around about eight Stop. stone, two pounds. And if you're wondering what a stone is, there are 14 pounds to a stone. So that's eight 14s plus two. Wow, fast action from these two. Brilliant. Really good. Both girls got a stack of stamina. Both going for gold here in round two. Coming up to the 30-second mark. Solid shots from both girls. This is really good action in this four-woman tournament. Wow, brilliant fighting, ladies. The femme fatales. Here in FEA and KOK. So, anyone of our American fans watching, it's about 115 pounds. Oh, and a nice high kick on the bell. It's catching the side of Claudia's first. Well, that was a very busy round from both girls. Very, very busy. But for me, the one who's controlling the ring, the girl in the center of the ring, like the ringmaster, is this girl here, left of your screen, Nadia Kansia, the underdog, the least experienced. It was only making a sixth appearance as a professional up against the girl with 33 fights, making a 34th experience in the ring. And there's the lovely KOK FEA ring girls providing us with a little bit of lighter entertainment, taking some of the, I can't say ten, testosterone anymore because it's not men fighting in the ring. Remember, it shows that this sport is for all sexes, male Let's and go. female, and it's being proven here in this four-woman Final tournament. Fight. Previous Final round. fight, while well, fast again, coming out the stocks. Nadia goes for gold. Farid is still there, though. Throwing up some good eye kicks and front kicks, Farid. 
but it's the persistent and consistent onslaught from Nadia that's forcing the pace and trying to... Oh, she screams! Nadia, she strikes! Look! War cry comes from the Moldovan girl again! Every strike goes with a war cry. She wants this badly. She's out to impress the local Moldovians that she's the girl to be in the final. Well, Farid Kirat from Turkey looks a little bit now dis dis almost dismantled, but lands two knees to Nadia's side of the face. Tapping into her experience here. Stop. But Nadia is just all about the business and stamina is something that I was known for. I only had 21 fights, but I was stamina for me is king. And in the ring, it looks like stamina is queen for this lady. Oof, solid shots from Nadia. She absolutely goes for it in this third round. Testament to her fitness. And the other girl as well, take nothing away from Farid. She's in this four-woman semi-final for a reason. She hasn't come here to lie down. Pals in the low kicks. The Turkish fighter. Little over a minute left in round three, and again, it's non-stop action, a testament to these two girls. Great knee to the body from Farid. Always said it, I've campaigned for ladies' fights all my life. We even got the only world champion in Bolton at Bolton Thai Boxing Club. Jussie Phoenix, low, formerly low, now centre. She's married to a Turkish gentleman, Murat. Won four titles at my gym, two British, a Commonwealth and a world title. Women can fight. And this is proof. Wow, 30 seconds remains and this has just been an absolute testament of these two ladies, stamina, incredible, credit to both of them. But it's to me, it's Nadia who's just got an unlimited stack of stamina that just seems to come from nowhere, and she just goes and goes and goes. Nice knee from Farid to the body. Closing seconds now. That's been a real great ladies fight, this one of the best I've seen. Brilliant. And what a great... Great semi-final, wow, ladies, ladies, ladies. Now, Farid sticks her hands up, but for me, the hands should, for me, you know what? I'm gonna go to one round 10-10, ten, ten, you're just 10-9 to red. Some good knees from Farid there, look at that. But I just think she was the counter fighter, and even though she was busy, pretty much the whole three rounds. The busier girl for me, Nadia can see from Moldova. For me, did they do, but let's wait and see, because anything can happen at KOK. That was a fight, ladies and gentlemen, worthy of a title. Now look, the girl from Turkey's got a hand up, but for me, I don't think she'd done enough. I think Nadia got that, and I'm not being biased. I'm not from Moldova, I'm from Bolton in England. So here we go. To me, the red corner, surely. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was the right decision. She is overwhelmed. She screams. <laughs> like only girly girls can do, showing that she's a girly girl too. Well, she kisses the trophy, she screams out in Moldova and thank somebody, <laughs> thank the Lord, thank the heavens, thank whoever, but whatever, she did the business and she goes to the final, but the girl who pushed her all the way, Farid Kirat from Turkey, what a great, and I say runner up, that is a respectful, thing to say because what a fighter doesn't look happy but you know what she should be happy with her performance obviously didn't get the win but it was the right decision one million percent for me but what a great fight wow Woohoo! now she goes into the final with the girl
that beat her last year. This is going to make it interesting. So, so interesting. Wow.